How to make a 3D platformer in Unity. Part 2. Player Rotation. To fix this problem, we need to do this. Go to Rigid Body. I will use this image as a reference. Locate the Rigid Body and Freeze Rotation. X and Z. As you can see, the player's rotation is frozen, but this game looks pretty boring. We don't want it to look like this. Let's go to the script. Open Movement Script. Define a new public float variable. Rotation Speed. After this line of code, you need to add space world. The space defines what the player is relative to. If move direction isn't equal to vector 3, quaternion. The quaternion is used for every rotation. I will name it to rotate. Quaternion look rotation is equal to move direction vector tree up. And we need one more line of code. Transform rotation equals Quaternion Rotate towards It rotates towards the angle Transform rotation The quaternion of rotation To rotate And rotation speed Multiplied with time dot delta time Save the script Go back to Unity Rotation speed would be 360 just to test the variable Here's the screen of the player's transform. As you can see, the Y value changes, but when I stop moving, it comes back to zero. To fix that, we need to open the script again. Float magnitude equals move direction dot magnitude. It's the magnitude of rotation. The magnitude is equal to the player magnitude. When I hit play, the console drops hundreds of lines of code. Vector tree rotation is zero. Go back to the script and fix it. Instead of up, you should say zero. Save the script and go back to Unity. The player keeps the look rotation. Perfect! If you want more tutorials, consider subscribing to Cosmobot Games. New tutorials coming every Monday. Goodbye. Have a good day.